Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back, y'all. Welcome back to Queen Cancer Tarot Channel. I'm the host. My name is Catherine. I'm here to bring you all clarity, guidance, and love messages. I have a reading for cancers today. This is a general love reading for cancer, and we're going to look at your and your person's energy. We're looking at past, present, and future. I dealt the uh, three cards, and then I pulled the three cards under the deck. Y'all know how I do. Usually, I prefer this reading style. It works for me. Um, so what I pulled, and I decided to stop and not do a full spread. I will do the rest with you guys here on on camera, um, but I did just the first three cards that I got were adventure. and add it in the reverse. New hobby in the reverse, adventure and addict in the reverse. Under the deck, we have romance, abuse and children. Romance, abuse and children. All right, so as I look at this with new hobby in the reverse, this says healthy habits, artistic talent, new social group, anxiety relief. And this is in the reverse. Okay. And you have romance under the deck. So, you know, passion, uh, sexy time, um, you know, being intimate with your partner, um, having someone to hold at night, having someone to cherish and do those things with together, having someone to look in you in that certain way. And, you know, you know what that means. Um, planning for the future. Okay. Um, but with new hobby in the reverse here, and this talks about healthy habits, anxiety going far. I feel like there there's a disconnect, um, you know, with you and your person. Um, there could be multiple reasons why things are slowing down. This person could be, you know, either you know, if they're not having an outside affair with someone else, there's an energy of with uh, physically fit in the reverse, like this person is um, not healthy. Um, there's an energy of, you know, this person may be getting older and not taking care of their health and their body. This person may um, do things or lead an unhealthy um, lifestyle here. All right, I'm seeing addict here. This person could be using narcotics or other drugs or drinking alcohol, um, you know, smoking um, cigarettes, you know what I'm saying? Doing things that are not good for their health here, all right, which is leading to this person having, a, you know, a lower libido. Um, you know, they're we have a delay. Sorry about that. So there could be really issues going on with this person. Are there not move commitment uh, questions now for yourself? Okay. Because there's an energy of you don't have that intimacy that you used to have that or that you're used to having with your person and your person is shutting down and you think that they're cheating. And, you know, your person may think that you're, you're cheating. I feel like there's an energy of. A 
a lot. There's back and forth. It, it may go both. But I'm kind of seeing it more one-sided in the other direction. I do feel like you want it to go to the next level. I really feel like you were making plans. You were loyal to this person. You were there for this person. I feel like with abuse here and with adventure, um, I just delay. I feel like this person may be having some anger issues. We have physical, mental, verbal. Sorry about the delay, y'all. I'll, I'll fix it if if I can. I'm trying to see what's going on, if I have any additional pages open, and I don't think I do, um, that are going to affect it anyways. Sorry about that, guys. Every time I sense or see a delay, I'm going to stop. Young, this is not even going to do this to us right now. Sorry about that, folks. I don't know exactly what is going on with the reception, but I have to fix it really quick. Hold on one second, guys. Second. I'll edit this after this is finished <laughs> for sure. Okay, I'm going to try to do this. If I run into issues, then I will restart. Okay. So what I'm seeing here with abuse here, narcissistic abuse and triggers, I do feel like this person does get very angry. I'm seeing an energy of someone who's frustrated with the fact that they are going through this, but there's an energy of not communicating this but with addict in the reverse, this could be somebody who had issues with, you know, maybe doing drugs in the past. And, you know, it is just taking its toll on this person. And I feel like this person is now, you know, finding themselves in a situation where it's not like it used to be, right? Um, but which strange about this is like i said this person instead takes an abusive tone they take on an abusive tone and with that venture here new places new food new people trying new things spontaneous stepping out of your comfort zone i feel as though you just may be an energy of doing what's best for you because this person is not treating you well. They're they're abusive to you. They're verbally and emotionally and even spiritually and it does cause mental uh, um you know torture and mental trauma. And they're doing things to cause trauma bonds because this person is weak. They're really weak. Children here, I'm sorry, I hit a delay. So again, I don't know where I was, but I, like I said, I see an addict in the reverse. I feel like this person may have had issues in the past with addiction, and I feel like it's taken a toll on their virility, you know what I'm saying? And instead of being more nurturing, you know what I'm saying? In other ways, this person gets angry with you and abusive and mentally 
abusive and you know this person is emotionally abusive to cause a tra trauma bond they want you to be they don't want you to leave them they're afraid you're going to leave them you get tr they also get triggered and i think they get bouts they have bouts of anger or rage and they act this it comes out in fits of rage towards you do you see what i'm saying and anytime they think that you're about to make a move or go somewhere, they get triggered. I can't even believe it just happened to me. I just jumped out of my skin. Sorry, one second. Sorry about that, y'all. I damn near jumped out of my skin just now because <laughs> I heard a noise. I can't. It's so jumpy when I'm like by myself in this house. Um, I do not, you know what? And I love being alone. I love being alone. I'm a by myself type person, but I don't, I don't know why I don't particularly care for being by myself in this house that I'm in. I don't know. Reading about that later. <laughs> we'll figure it out later and I'll let y'all know. Immature. They are extremely immature. I feel like to the point where with addict here in the reverse, this talks about breaking addictions and no longer like having certain cravings and not being in denial about a situation. I do feel like there's an energy of you are, you know, waking up to the fact that, you know, you're ready to move on. You no longer even want this person like that anymore they have like emotionally and verbally abused you and some of you have even been physically abused by this person um extremely narcissistic childhood you could have been with this person for a long time you may have children with this person i do see this person trying to get you pregnant Okay, so be careful with that for those of you who are able to have kids and don't want to get pregnant. I would definitely watch this person because they don't want to let you go. Okay, and they'll do anything in their power to make you powerless. Do you see what I'm saying? This is what they thrive on. This is what they come back and we're going to, and I'm telling you, I know why it's happening. Energetically, it's like, there's anger about this message getting out, but it's, it's okay because I'm getting it out, whether they like it or not. Yep. Whether they like it or not, I'm getting this message out. Okay. It's going to resolve itself within as soon as this reading is like just about to be over. It's going to resolve itself. Tell me about new hobby in the reverse and romance.
new hobby in the reverse and romance. New hobby in the reverse and romance. Y'all, I'm going to forward. We have sexuality in the reverse, y'all. Sexuality in the reverse. And then we have higher perception in the reverse. Now, what did I just tell y'all? That this person is having some issues, you know. You know what I'm saying? And that's exactly what this tells me. Literally, this person is having a hard time, and I feel like they are taking it out on you. They are taking it out on you. Under the deck, look, we have silent retreat, silence, y'all, and this is number this is no it's not okay I was making sure this wasn't the silent retreat silence so this person is um, they're giving you the silent treatment all together this is somebody who is having some self-esteem issues. And because of that, they're just not coming towards you at all in a romantic way. Do you see what I mean? And this person is pulling back. And they're frustrated. You're frustrated. And this person, they don't want to hear it. They don't want to talk. Sorry. Sorry, cancers, with the delays. I really am. But this person doesn't want to talk about it. They don't want to talk about it. They, they don't want to try new things. You, you want to try new things because you just want to get it. So pathetic. And with the abuse here, all you want to do is make it work. All this person wants to do is fuss and fight. They're angry about it. To come out energy animal energy or channel okay so, so this reminds me of the strength card it's not the strength card but it reminds me of the strength card but with animal energy there's an energy of someone is very passionate very ready to go but having to tame tame themselves down because their person their person is not at a place where they're able do you see what i'm saying and rather than trigger this person by even bringing it up because i feel like every time you even mention anything about you know your your sexuality how you're, you're feeling you know whatever just if you want to be intimate with this person just it causes this person to be triggered and when they get triggered this person gets abusive verbally mentally 
they may call you crazy. They may call you names. They, this says emotional abuse. They may talk about you and say they don't, you know, find ways to try to make you feel bad about yourself. Do you see what I'm saying? Under the deck, codes in nature, miracles. This talks about similarities. This talks about there's no coincidences. Everything happens. There's a reason behind it. Um, it didn't just happen that way by chance. Okay. And I feel, like I said, when this person says certain things, okay, and it may hurt your feelings, it's like, okay, this is, now I know what's going on with you. Like once you start going down this road, or once that person starts going down that particular road, you already know what's going on. It's like, okay, this person is having a high testosterone day and they don't know how to get their feelings out. You know, they, they're having trouble expressing themselves in one area. So they just kind of go berserk and then another. It's all, it's all relative. It goes hand in hand. Um, and you're going to start to realize this. I also feel like you're going to get away from this energy. You are going to be able to break free. You are going to be able to break they do trigger you in a major way their goal is to trigger you ultimately with This is somebody that wants you to be addicted to them. They, they want you to be trauma bonded. This is somebody who has an Elvis complex. Okay. They want people to pull and tear at their pant legs as, as they walk by. They want they want to be, you know, told that they are needed and that they're wanted. When you don't act that way or the way they're wanting you to act to feed into their ego. When you don't feed into what they want, they become abusive because that's the way to trigger you. That's the way to get the response that they need. Even though it's fake, even though it's not something that they know that you're doing because you are, you know, infatuated with them, they don't care. They just want that feeling. You see what I'm saying? They want you to be addicted to them, but there's an energy of you are going to be breaking free. With children here, I'm getting like the, the fool. This is a new start. 
you are going to be breaking free of these toxic addictions. It could be an energy of this narcissist. Was counting on. This is a narcissist that counted on the fact that you needed them. This is what they're, they're counting on. They need you to be addicted to them somehow. Just fall out of the deck. I know it did. I know that's truth. It's aura, but it's truth. And it's in the upright. Yep. Sorry, guys. Truth. Under the deck. Clarity. Look at this, y'all. See? Number. Eleven. Or justice. This talks about karma. I feel like you're going to be communicating. This with this person and letting them know. You know what I'm saying? You're you're no longer trauma bonded by this person, and you're gonna let them know you have broken free of their of the toxic addiction that they had to you. I'm going to read do this reading likely. I'll probably I'll reuse this video um, in case any of you want to see the cards being dealt. I'm sorry about the delays here, but I am going to redo this video. I'll get it figured out, you guys, and I'll redo it. But, but with truth and clarity, like I said, I feel like your eyes are opening. And because of this, this person has a, you to reckon with. There's going to be consequences because of what this person has taken you through. Do you see what I'm saying? but you're no longer with addict in the reverse here I've in truth and clarity I feel like the more you boy the devil is a lie the more you see this person the more you see the truth and the less addicted you are to this toxic energy the more you're seeing through it and it, you don't care. This person is going to lash out at you. Okay. And I feel like you're going through this right now where this person is just extremely nasty towards you. Okay. Because they know with the adventure here that you're not feeling them and you're, you're headed out the door. You see what I mean? You're headed out the door and you want to do things in a classy way. Um, because this is trauma. This person has traumatized you. This person has traumatized you and they don't see it. See how this person is wearing sunglasses? I always 
say that my Stevie Wonder glasses. Okay. <laughs> kind of looks like Stevie Wonder back in the day, huh? I'm just saying. But it doesn't have the braids, though, so no. So, yeah, you're seeing this person for the truth. For the fact that things were toxic, you're opening your eyes. And I feel like this is a miracle for you because you've been praying for this. You've been praying for this. You've wanted to break free. You have wanted to break free from this toxic pattern. With higher learning in the reverse and then silent retreat, I feel like there's an energy of you pretended as though you, you just acted delusional. You acted delusional like you didn't know what was happening, but all the while, while you were getting the silent treatment, you were making your plan. Okay, you were making your plans to make your move. I'm going to come back. We're going to look at your person's energy. Before I said the devil is alive, and I say we're going to, the issues are going to resolve themselves towards the end of this reading. I said that. I did. I don't know what made me say it because I didn't know it, but I intuitively felt as though that, that is exactly what was going to happen. That's exactly what happened. I love y'all, man. I am definitely uploading this video to show y'all just the power of, you know, how I know when a, there's an important message that needs to get out and when there is a very angry spirit and energy. And I feel like this is a very angry, nasty, narcissistic, power, ego tripping person that you are dealing with. And they are smelling themselves right now because you have your eyes open and you have flipped the script. You have you have moved on. Addict in the reverse. You're no longer trauma bonded. You're not stuck like glue. You're not coming back. There's no magnet attached to you. Do you see what I'm saying? You're up. You have moved on and away from this person. So we're going to come back and I'm going to do a part two and look at your person's energy. I will recap this because there were a lot of breaks and pauses and I'll try to go back and edit as much as I can. But I'm telling you Hot Mess Central and we have not had any issues since we got, like I said, towards the end of this reading, y'all. I'm pretty much done, son. I'll be back in just a minute. <laughs> Hood love community. We'll be back in just a minute. I love y'all. Bye.